In a past video, I took this propel drive apart, I did like a service on it, applied new grease, and what I want to do is I want to open it up, and I have used this quite a bit since then, and I just want to see what it looks like on the inside to check out how good of a job that grease does protecting this drive. So I've got all my tools here, and I'm ready to go. If you haven't seen that video, don't click off this video just yet. Um, stay tuned. You can see how good of a job that this grease did and that maintenance did on maintaining this propel drive. And at the very end of this video, what I'll do is in the end card, I will have that video linked right there for you. And it goes into a lot more detail of exactly how to break this down and do the maintenance on the drive. All right, so let's get this thing apart. And all these tools I'm going to link down below if you guys want to go get the tools that you need to do the maintenance on this propel drive. So here is the moment of truth. All right. All right, so I'm using my phone as a light here, just kind of inspecting this to see what it looks like, and looks really good. I'm gonna take a picture so that you guys can see exactly what it looks like close up. Try and get a good angle here. Here we go. All right, so as you saw from that photo, I think the grease has done a really good job of protecting those gears. And this is the grease. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Don't focus on me. This is the grease that I use. It's the Frontier. This was recommended to me, and I feel like it's a really good grease. It's really done a good job of staying on those gears. But just for, um, I'm actually getting ready to sell this kayak, so I'm trying to do this maintenance on this drive before I sell it to an individual so i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and go in there and apply a little bit more grease and clean this up and then we'll look at the bottom it's very tacky All right, so we got that done. We put new grease on there. It's looking really good. I don't really see any problems with it. You can actually, I don't know if y'all can hear that or not, but you can hear that like really tacky grease in there. So I gave it a couple spins. Ooh, about sneeze there. So give it a couple spins there, get that grease really worked in there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this, this side plate back on and put that crank arm back on. Just want to look at this o-ring here that's on this to make sure that it's sealed everything looks really good we'll get this back on here on there and we're going to use this to crank it down here and one common mistake that will lead to having a bunch of noise in this drive is not making sure this is cranked down tight enough because it causes it to creak if you go back and watch I think it's my one of my reviews on the kayak I don't remember which one it was you can hear this like creaking noise and it's because I did not have these crank down hard enough. All right, that should be good. All right, so now we got the top done, we're gonna move to the bottom. So first I need to get an Allen wrench to take off the prop here. All this does is it just seats the prop on there. This little Allen wrench. 
So I've got the prop off here. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture uh, so you all can see what it looks like. All right, so let's take off the bottom cartridge. I think this is probably the one that people are probably more interested in. Um, this one is the one that's going to be exposed to more elements because it's actually down in the water. When you have the propel drive down in the water, so we'll get this off. And like I said, in my other video, I go into way more detail on exactly how to do this. If you want to watch that one, it's linked at the end of the video. So you got this cartridge here. Let me take a picture here. You know, and see, I literally just took it out. I mean, try and get a little video here of my phone because I'm going to have to use the light here. All right, there we go. So you look down in there, I mean, still got some grease down in there. It looks a little, little brown but nothing too bad and then if you look at this one up close here got a little bit I mean you still got a lot of grease on there but what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean these teeth off and see what it looks like once I clean the teeth off alright so I just cleaned that off and if you look I mean I think all that is is like the brown little bit of oxidation is probably just from like condensation I can tell that I've not had any water intrusion on the drive. You can see that like the O-ring's still good and by looking in here you can just tell that there's no there's been no water intrusion. So what I'm gonna do is same thing here. I'm just gonna apply a little bit more grease like I did in that last video and then I'm gonna put this back together. But as you can see, like if you really maintain your propel drive, it's gonna last for a really long time. A lot of people choose to put oil in these um, there are oil conversion videos out there if you want to check those out but the thing is that it's going to avoid your warranty on your propel drive and i wanted to make sure that i maintained this warranty on this propel drive like i said at the beginning of the video i'm getting ready to sell this kayak so i just want to make sure that for that whoever um, ends up buying it that like it's in really good condition they can take it out on the water immediately and not have to worry about doing a service on it at least for a while and uh, everything will be good to go um, overall, I have really enjoyed this kayak. It's been a great kayak. Um, the drive has been solid, had no issues out of it. And, you know, and a lot of that's because I took care of it. You know, if I were to get this kayak again, I would have no qualms about getting a propel drive kayak. These drives are really solid and I've been super impressed with the kayak. So if you guys have any questions or anything, please comment down below and let me know and I will try to answer them the best of my ability, but then you can also go check out that other video that's linked right here in the end card and check it out. But as always, guys, don't forget, get outside, do something awesome, and take somebody with you if you get a chance, and I'll see you in the next one.